This season of The Apartment has seen the most diverse, outspoken, as soon as one thing starts to fuck up, they all start to fuck up, colorful, Lawrence pops out like a male, macho, handsome Mary Poppins, hilarious, ah, oh, my eyes, do you want to rub up? Buy me a drink first, <laughs> and talented group of competitors the show has ever seen, such as Priyanka and Vineet. Holding an advantage when they began their journey. We'll bring the best out of each other. But when things got intense, I can't do it without the tip. Their marriage bliss. I know I'll, I'll do it. Turned into hissy fits. So stop making me angry, please. And unfortunately, the lovable couple's journey hit a dead end only in week two. Put in your key. Fortunately for MC and DJ duo Paralyn and Nara, cool. their luck in the competition has been much more fruitful. Fuck no, what? You didn't measure. Their relationship, on the other hand, seriously, not so much. I fucking hate you your shit. Oh my god! What the fuck is wrong with you? You wanna keep shouting? You do it yourself. Yeah, you can do the herb garden, but if you're gonna mess it up, why don't you design the whole thing and then I'll just be a fucking enemy? Okay, that's fine too. Paralyn and Nara. Ooh, they don't look like they're getting along very well. Stop being a one-man show. And watch what you say. With Paralyn's unfiltered personality... I become extra bipolar when I have my period, so everything that she says is wrong. I think our relationship is a roller coaster that mm, is plunging rapidly downwards. We fight about everything, you know? Like, why do we fight about the bed, the chair, everything? Timing, your makeup. <laughs> Shenanigans followed the feisty team wherever they went. Oh my god! Get away from me, spider! Every time I go out, but like, must shit on me. Oh, oh, there's a butterfly. Oh. We've lost our kid. Sasha. See, that's why I will never have children. Sasha. Can we put this boat in the room? It's a pretty cool boat. Oh, shit. But they always found a way to pull it all together. Perlin and Nara, you two are this week's winners of the competition. <laughs> it works! Come on, you can do it! Yeah, moving it! I was delighted with your bathroom this week. You made it your own. I feel kind of um, shocked. Shocked. <laughs> we don't know why we're still here. Whenever Brian and Sarah embarked on a challenge, their sibling rivalry sizzled. If you want to fight, you Everyone loves fight. brothers and sisters. We are really, really, really proud to be Malaysian, Malaysian kids. Why is it Sarah time. and Brian, not Brian and Sarah? It's always Sarah and Brian. You okay? Oh my god. That is not presentable at all. Can you please see and yeah. say now whether it's high enough? should be lower. You say okay, huh? Okay, okay. What? I mean, what? I asked you to take it away, just okay, take it away. We like PMSing all the time. Motivated by their recent loss, the duo's designs were driven by the love for their family. Our father is a big, huge part of who you are. I think he would be very proud. Basically, we tried to image the room behind a romance that we've seen all our lives, yeah, which is between our parents. Dad loved working in the garden towards the end of his life, and working on the garden is bringing us closer to him. Putting their heart and soul into each and every room. Just leave it there. I don't think he should be lying. I don't think he should be lying. You can see it's not perfect. But I think mom would like it. Yeah. I'm afraid you're going. Unfortunately, you Brian much. and Sarah's luck would run out in the fifth week, which they handled with dignity and grace. That's one of our biggest achievements in this show, that the memory of our father continues. In the race for the life-changing grand prize, Adam and Adrian always push the boundaries. I'm in a position where I can create my own goddamn treehouse. It's been bigger and better than all my friends I have treehouses. It's not necessarily a love room yet. It's definitely on the way there. <laughs> we thought of kind of like an erotic safari. Your David Bowie room was very interesting. Adam and Adrian, you have won this week's challenge. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going to allow you to leave the competition right now. And despite having dodged a couple bullets... Jamie's going to be really happy. He'll realise that it's the best decision he's made in his entire life. 
Adam and Adrian know that the judges believe in them. Oh man, we are full of sophistication. Their silly <laughs> sense of humor helped them face the stresses of the competition. I really need to win this because I need to hold an epic party. There's a fine line when creating a romantic room with two men. Fight down because we're going in dry. Alright. <laughs> Women, you know. All they want is a free meal. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Yes. Make sure it makes my eyes pop. <laughs> Adrian, you'd bang a girl in that. No matter what the circumstances. It's like that touch massage. These <laughs> 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 children you can't use the F word. It's fine. I'm 12. You let me on top? You can be on top until you get tired, then we can switch. How is that monkey out? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking wall behind us. That's a piece of shit. I had a sneaky peek being the neighbor I am. I would be concerned if I was a guest in their house. I know it's only like maybe a foot deep of water, but you can drown in that shit. What kind of ass do you like? <laughs> I like me some good ass. Do you like it round? <laughs> Obviously, Adrian has a crush on me. That's Duh. Hard. And then Cupid decided to hit Adrian with his arrow. And I was telling him, I was like, Adam, Jen, and Inesh. Jeez, you don't even know my name. Well, I think I'm doing a terrible, terrible job at actually uh, making this love story happen. You're gonna be like one of the hottest golfers, though. Do you have a boyfriend? Like, I kind of like, like jar off a bit and say really dumb things. What are you guys doing in the bedroom? On a scale of one to one ten, Inez is a purple. It wasn't long before he was head over heels. I just want to see him sweaty and hot, really. If we get eliminated tonight, we'll be losing connection with somebody that I genuinely feel really comfortable around. And he wasn't exactly shy about it. I think I've gelled really, really well with Inez and Jennifer. Oh, oh. My plan with Inez is to take her to a private beach and ask her to marry me. The awful thing is, I've got a terrible feeling we're about to split up Romeo and Juliet. Adrian, you keep fluttering your eyelids over in that direction over there. Beauty queens Ines and Jennifer constantly had on their game face. Workout. Maybe she's the muscle and I'm the brain. Are you sure it's gonna work? It would look so awesome. And they were out to prove that they're more than just a pretty face. Ines, Jennifer, you are the winner. Outstanding. While demonstrating that pigging out wasn't just for pigs. Snack, 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 so snack, snack, snack everywhere. Snack. Eat snacks five times a day. You'll get our bottle. Yeah. Sadly, the heat of the competition finally got to the hotties. I'm afraid it's goodbye. Just past the midway point. Innocent Jeff, can you put your key back, please? Disappoint was one thing Sonia and Yvette never did. You have won. As they were the early favorites winning two of the first three challenges. Congratulations, guys. Sensational. I'm so proud of us, but at the same time, it yeah. kind of puts the heat on us, doesn't it? In fact, they were almost too good for their own good. Lawrence has always said that we're too perfect and too polished. Yet again, it's a bit Princess Perfect, it's a bit Victoria Beckham. Don't buy <laughs> thank you very of course, much. Guys. If that makes any sense. It's just too perfect looking. And they certainly weren't keen to share any secrets. Oh, we come for a visit. Can we? Okay, we'll give you three seconds to run in and run out. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Okay, three <laughs> seconds. See you. Okay, okay. <laughs> what isn't a secret is Dinky and Tiara's innate ability to innovate. This piece above the bed, I felt was very impressive. I loved it. We've noticed their strengths. And they've been flying under the radar kind of really well. Very well. Look, I did that by myself. Whenever we are contented with our room, the judges don't like it. Yeah, it's becoming very unpredictable. Predictable. That's what I'm scared of. Is that correct? Oh my god. We want to make a design that mimics the form of the terraces. I'm just concerned if we don't hold anything back and like not tone it down, it might overwhelm the judges. Coming in without a penny in their pockets. We left our country with no money at all. These talented Filipinos approached the competition with a sense of urgency. <laughs> we did not finish paying for the house, so it's going to be taken away. <laughs> I'm just so sad we cannot Unfortunately, there's no such thing as sympathy points. 
Poor Adriana, who has a four-year-old and a six-year-old. She's a single mum. She left her job to come out of this show. Let's give her an apartment now, then. Next week, the judges and the public will be rewarding the historic grand prize based on the best designs. May the best team win.